Hello guys, it's your boy Bardo Plays, and today I'm gonna rank my top 10 characters of this year. That's just my opinion, so if you don't really have the same opinion, then just write it in the comment section. And what I also want to mention, I'm not only gonna rank them by strength, but also how much they annoyed me this year or how good they are, you know what? And yeah, what I also wanted to mention is that I'm really thankful for this year. It was a ton of fun doing YouTube this year. I got somehow 350 subscribers in one year. That, that, made, that makes me really happy. And I also wanted to ask you um, what you think about my new outro. Like I did one myself again. I want to ask you what you think is better, the old one or the new one? And yeah, let's go to the first character. Also, a thing I wanted to mention is that there are some honorable mentions. First one being Sugar, Andy's Lobby Robin, Monster Point Chopper, and Dress Rosa Zoro. Those characters didn't make it into the list. And also, Izo is an honorable mention for me since he is, in my opinion, the best step up we got this year with a really big um, gap between the other step ups in my opinion. Oh shit! All right! Okay, and now let's talk about our number 10 and that's God Usopp. God Usopp is an amazing character and really annoying. He has the nickname the rat and that's for sure because this man is a rat. He can survive somehow everything. He has 1 million lives, he comes every time back, you try to kill him, he's like a fucking cockroach, you can throw a fucking, uh, bro, how do you call those things again, a tone bomb, no, 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 um, uh, so really big bombs, you know what, um, and yeah, he has really good skills that are really annoying and have a long range, let's go to number 9. Number 9 is Don Quixote do Flamingo. Uh, that's him, the young one. And yeah, he has amazing drip as always. And I really enjoyed him. I'm really enjoying him right now. He is an amazing character. He is the Akainu counter in my opinion. Like, he's really good against him. And yeah, he, he does purpose really good. He's drippy and everything. One thing that could have upgraded him massively is his red suit, to be honest. Yeah, let's go to the next character. Next character is Prime Rayleigh, and I just got him because of the ticket, because I somehow got the ticket and Yamato and Onigamashima Luffy this season. I don't know, my luck is insane somehow. This season, just this season, my luck with God Usopp and Frankie and shit, that was disgustingly bad. Yeah, um, really, really good unit, but he is down here at place 8 for just one reason, my opinion, and that's because you need to be, uh, uh, you have to have a little more experience with the game and know how to dodge and shit in my opinion like it, yeah, I, you really need to time it good and if you are really a starter or just some normal player i think you are not that good with that character you'll be okay with him you'll be fine with him he's a good character but it will be harder for you and if let's say we give it to a more experienced player this man then he would be Number five for sure in my opinion. Yeah, let's go to the next one. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> Number seven is Onigashima Law. And bro, this man also really fucking drippy. I like him. He's really good. I haven't played him on my main account but on other accounts. And I've also posted multiple gameplays of him. And he's really good. He has an awesome range his skills are both really good and he's one out of two units that has anti-heal and this thing is bustin bustin and since he's a better of the two like way better he is a really good unit like i think he's amazing 
And he can clap most units in my opinion. Like, bro, he can clap Roger. He can clap Yamato in my opinion. Odin. He's really good. Let's go to the next unit. Next unit is my Onigashima Eustace Kid Boy. He is love level 100 boost too. And boy, I enjoyed him. I like bro, I had really bad summons with him, but somehow I got him from level 60 to 100 in the same season, like after two weeks, I know I'm a mad genius if it's if it comes to prioritizing one character. And yes, this man is really fucking tanky. He he really changed somehow the meta where he came out in my opinion. Like he broke it, he broke the game a little bit. And I liked it, I liked it, I liked this man. And I really am happy about having a good kid in this game. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> next one is Cancer Man himself, that's Onigashima Monkey D. Luffy. And my god, words can't describe how I hate to meet him in League Battle. He can be so annoying and... That's not because like he is super good or his norm attack or something. Yeah, his norm attack is also like everything about him. He has no real, um, no, no disadvantage to him. Like the one thing that pissed me off the most is gum gum hackling, hawk gatling. It's way too good, way too fast. And I hate how it one shots me in seconds. I really hate it. Yeah. Let's uh, go to the next character. Next character is one of the best runners in this game, and that's Kuzuki Odin. Kuzuki Odin, a really amazing unit. I love him in the series. Like, he's one of my favorites, top five in One Piece. And I really wanted to get him, but I didn't get him. But I got the Wish version from him that is better than him in OPBR. Yeah. And yeah, he, he's a really amazing runner. Really strong. I like him. I like him. His art is also insane. And because of that, I think he's number four of the top five in this year. So long, eh, Bowser! Next unit is our Odin on Wish, on Coke, on Crack, I don't know. She is really good. Yamato, amazing unit. A well-balanced unit, I might say. That has one flaw and that's that it... She can't go over flags. I think that's a big disadvantage. And that's really all in my opinion. Uh, everything else about her is really good. She has a good amount of heal. And if I have Yamato level 80, I will instantly post gameplay. No worries, boys, no worries. It will just take one or two weeks more, I don't know. Let's go. Next unit, and he may be also the most annoying unit in this game of this year, and that's really Goldie Roger. He made so many people quit, and it, it really pisses me off because... I, a lot, ton of them, I like them really, like, and some YouTubers, it, it really pisses me off how annoying this man is. He has no flaws, no anything, and I really wish they would remove him from this game. He is just way too good, and I don't really like him. That, that's really annoying. They should still nerf the axes, in my opinion. And I know there are some meta dick riders who say no Rogers completely balanced. Well, f oh my god, shut the fuck up. He ruins the game for me at the start. It really annoys me still. And now the currently best unit in this game. And that's... Oh my god. Akainu. And holy fucking damn shit. This man is really fucking annoying. His incinerate is the thing that pisses me off the most. The high amount of damage. This man is just unbelievably good. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is that Whole Kick Island is another honorable mention. I, I don't know why I sometimes forget characters like that. I don't know. She can deal with Akainu pretty good also, want to say that. And yeah, Akainu. 
biggest biggest nerve like bro i really ha also hate him like bro why why do you exist man i think how you can nerf him take some attack boost from him and lower the incinerate rate i don't know uh i don't really know how to fix a character like that and yeah oh you thought i was finished before mentioning the most overpowered unit in this game, the man that broke the game literally, that is better than everyone and anything. He is blue element, he is a defender, and he will be soon boost 3 for me. And it is our legendary Gaimon, uh, bro, this is the best unit in this game, I can't lie, bro, look at this man, he is a menace. Uh, boxman himself um, let's go do the outro okay guys this is it with the video i hope you enjoyed it um this is my top 10 again if you have a different opinion go into the comment section and tell me that again big thanks for this year and next year i hope it will be greater um yeah, yeah. um again what's your opinion about my new outro i want really to know that because i put a lot of work into it okay goodbye and subscribe if you want to see more OPBR One Piece related content and if you enjoy my content, goodbye.